that. How about you? Yeah. Well, I guess it was worth it, even if we did have to work on a Saturday morning. Uh-huh. You know, this Benson shipped a lot of machine parts in this area. He'll be a good customer. Did he tell you about that new line he's planning to manufacture? He's planning to ship... PT? PT? Okay, buddy, let's see if this wakes you up. You got a heavy date? Yes, with a nine-year-old boy, my nephew. He's spending the weekend with me while my sister and her husband are in San Diego. I left him in care of a neighbor, and I hate to impose on her. Why don't you tell us about it? You could have the whole day off. Oh, no, that's all right. Tommy has a neighbor boy to play with, and he's in good hands. You want to ride home? Oh, no, thank you. I can get the bus at the corner. We're really pretty incorporated. Hi, Jane. I was just talking about you. Has Tommy been a good... He what? Well, have you looked for him? Well, well, didn't Ralph say... No, of course I don't blame him. Yes? Yes? Well, I'll be coming right home now. What's the matter, honey? My nephew, he's missing. He's been gone for more than an hour, and they said they looked everywhere for him. Well, I wouldn't worry about it. You know how boys are. Maybe he just wandered. Oh, not Tommy. I know him. He was supposed to stay with Ralph, and that's exactly what he would have done unless... What could have happened to him? Come on, we'll drive you home and find out. Come on. your mother? In the house. She's phoning everybody in the neighborhood. You know, she thought Tommy might have gone out with one of the other kids around here, but... But what? Is there something you're not telling us? Now, wait a minute. Take it easy. Start from the beginning. You and Tommy were playing together, is that it? Yes, sir. Around the corner in the vacant lot. You didn't see him leave, huh? No, I had my eyes closed. We were playing hide and seek. And Tommy was hiding from you, is that it? Uh-huh. I looked every place I could think of. Is there any other house that he would have gone into or, or another building? No, ma'am. We had a rule about that. We had to hide outside someplace. We had boundaries. Was there any other place in the lot he could have tried to hide? Mm, there was an old car. A car? Yeah. I thought Tommy might have hidden in the trunk. 
But I tried to open it. It was so old and rusty. You know, like nobody touched it for years. Could you show us this car, son? Sure. Come on. There's a truck been in here. Look at the tire tracks. Are you absolutely sure there's a car, son? Honest, it was right here in this very spot. But you didn't see Tommy get into it, did you? No. Like I said, I thought he might have gotten in the car. Chuck, even if he had been here, he wouldn't be around now. Or whoever moved the car would have seen him. The only place he could have been was in the trunk. But I knocked on that, and nobody answered or anything. And you couldn't open it? There wasn't any handle. I can't see how he could have gotten inside. Hey, P.T., look at this. What is it? It's a trunk handle. Chuck, that could have been lying around for months. Well, maybe. I don't think so. Look, it's rusted all over except right here. There's a fresh break. You mean Tommy broke it off? I don't know, Ralph. I hope not. He crawled in the trunk and the door closed on him. Chuck, if Tommy were in the trunk, what could happen to him? Well, I'm not sure. An automobile trunk isn't airtight. He wouldn't suffocate. Anyhow, we're probably wrong about the whole thing. He'll probably turn up someplace else. Well, just the same, we'd better call the police. Yeah, maybe we'd better. They'll put out a missing person's bulletin on him. Helen can give him a full description. I'm going to canvas the whole neighborhood. Somebody must have seen that car removed. Good. See you later. Look, the police move very fast on things like this, Helen. They'll come up with something. Well, they've got to, P.T. They've just got to. Look, why don't you make us a pot of coffee? I think we could use it. Well, we did get one clue. What'd you find out, Chuck? A Mrs. Perkins in the apartment house across the street from the lot saw a wrecking company pick up that car about 45 minutes ago. Then we must have just missed it. Did she get a name from the truck? She didn't get a thing. Well, you get the coffee made. We'll start phoning. Where's your phone book, honey? Right on the desk. Let's start from the beginning. Let's see. Auto washing. Auto wheels. Auto wrecking. Here we are. You call them as I give them to you. A&S Salvage. Ludlow 6, 5100. Be a dandy this time. Twelve fifty. Twelve fifty. That's robbery. If the boss was here, you'd only get ten. Thirteen bucks. Twelve fifty. Well, okay, but it's only because I got a lot of other things to do, Art. There's your fifty. Can't be a winner every day, Joe. Uh, Let's stick it over there. Okay. <laughs> I'm trying to locate a wrecker who picked up a junk car from a vacant lot on Swall Street. Yes, that's right, about an hour ago. You haven't? All right, thank you. Okay, next one is Hill Salvage, Capital 86900. Thank you. All right, try this. Midland Salvage, Nevada 61290. Hello, 
Will Mitlin salvage? Oh, Mrs. Mitlin. Well, maybe you can help me. I'm trying to locate a wrecker who picked up a junk car from a vacant lot in the 200 block on Swall Street today. He did? We got it. Mrs. Mitlin, it's extremely important we locate that car. Yes, I know. Is your husband there? Well, where can I locate him? Palmdale, are you sure? Get the license number and a description of the truck. Look, Mrs. Mitlin, we have to locate your husband. Give me a description of the truck and the license number. No, he didn't do anything wrong. We just want to talk to him. Mrs. Mitlin, this is Helen Carter. My nephew might be locked in the trunk of that car. The man you talked to is trying to help me. Please, Mrs. Mitlin, I beg of you. Hello, Mrs. Mitlin. Yes. Fine, I've got it. No, that'll do. How about the license number? 3Y5148. Thank you, Mrs. Midland. Thank you very much. Well, there's only one route to Palmdale, and that's the main highway. Maybe we can catch him with a copter. Helen, you call the highway patrol and tell them everything we know. If they get there before we do, they'll know what to do. Are you Joe Mitlin? Yeah, that's it. The way you fellas come barreling out of that sky is enough to make a fella forget what his name is. Sorry to scare you like that, Mr. Mitlin, but we had to get your attention. We're trying to find a junk car you picked up this afternoon, an abandoned wreck on Squall Drive. You see, there may be a small boy trapped in the trunk of that car. A boy? Now, what in the Where world? Where did you take the car? 
uh, that uh, Decker Records. But I never seen hide their hair and no boy in that car. Where is Decker's place? It's uh, on 15th Street, just off the main highway. You can't miss. 15th Street, just off the main highway. We'll be able to find it. If the state police pick you up, tell them what you've told us. They're on the lookout for you. Well, I'm sure sorry I caused you fellas all this trouble. And I hope you find that poor little boy. Thanks again. Uh, I guess you know I never would have dumped that car if I'd have known. Place. Maybe he was wrong about it being the Decker yard. No, I think he had that much straight. And as big as he was, at least we got something to grasp at besides straws. Yeah. Now we needed time and a lot of luck. trucker by the name of Joe Mitland brought in a junk car about an hour and a half ago. Yeah, that's right. It was just a shell. Where is it? Could you point it out to us? I don't think so. I wasn't paying much attention. You see, we have a lot of shells around here. Hey, yeah. look, would you, would you mind telling me what this is all about? We have good reason to believe there's a little boy locked in the trunk. What? See, I know who would recognize that car. That other little boy, Ralph Egan. You mean get him over here? Yeah, do you have a phone? Yeah, down the office. P.T., why don't you run and call the police? Have them bring him over here in a hurry. Good idea. Meantime, we'll start looking. See if we can find a car with a broken trunk handle. Good. Let's start over there. about an hour, but these shells, they keep coming in all day long. Helen, what are you doing here? I couldn't stay back there not knowing, not being able to do anything. Have you found the car? No, we thought maybe Ralph might be able to help us. Son, do you think you can point the car out to us? Gosh, I don't know. I can try. Come on, then. Do you see it? There's so many. They all look alike. Just take it easy, son. Try to remember. Have you ever seen any of these cars before? That one. No, we've already looked in here. I'm sorry. It's so hard to tell. Chuck, what are we going to do? I just remembered. I think Joe put it back here. <laughs> this is it. Yeah, that's it. Tommy! Tommy! What are you doing underneath? Mitten just brought it in a little while ago. I told you I had to go away for a while. While I was gone, they dumped this shell on it. How are we going to get that trunk door open with this thing sitting on it? Well, it's going to be a job to clear this thing. The whole lot of us put together couldn't budge it. Do you have a crane or something like that? It's being repaired. I know a fellow has a yard about a mile away from here. No, we're not have time. Yeah, it's worth a try. <laughs> Miss, I, uh, I sure wish there was something I can say. I mean, uh, there isn't anything in the world I'd do to hurt anybody. You see... I got three kids of my own. Well, I know. I don't blame you. I don't blame anybody. I just pray that he's all right. He's got to be all right.
Why don't you and P.T. go to the hospital with him? I'll take care of Ralph. How'd you like a ride in a helicopter, huh? Sure. Thanks a lot. Okay.